Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For time purposes, we've already shuffled the deck. So let's get right into your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what's coming towards you for this month of February. Now, your first card here is the Justice card. Uh, if you've been feeling like you've been treated unfairly or unjustly, you will be experiencing almost a karmic um, a karmic flow of energy coming towards you, serving those that have done you wrong, um, and even feeling like, like you're being extremely protected. Um, pay very close attention to any type of messages that may be coming to you from the spirit realm. Now, the obstacle here is the Page of Swords. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Libra energy, for others Aquarius, uh, Gemini type of energy, or it could be in their chart. Um, and the obstacle here is learn to tamper or to bring down uh, that uh, forceful, authoritative type of energy, Capricorn, especially right now because, you you know, we do have uh, the planet alignments um, being extremely explosive right now. And people could be getting on your bad side. People can be really just irking you lately. Try to control that. Don't let aggression come out. Uh, now, I know I know I don't need to tell that to Capricorns because you guys are usually very methodical creatures by nature. Um, but I do see that, you know, people getting the best of you. Uh, be careful, especially if you're dealing with energies of people from your past uh, that could be tempting you to really um, tempting you in the sense of like getting on your nerves or what they're looking for ultimately is to get some type of reaction from you. So be careful not to give them that Capricorn. Now, your past and passing, you do for, have the four of cups here. So I do see a lot of boredom for some of you guys. It could be that you are... Um, not feeling, I guess, as inspired. For some of you guys, it could be dealing with the loss of a family or loved one uh, that passed away. For others of you, it could just symbolize feeling the, the loss of some type of relationship. Uh, it could be that there was a separation or some type of ending that came. Now, what's on your mind is the four of wands. I see you guys going or walking towards something that is stable, something that is long term. Uh, yeah, definitely. So we have a lot of new beginnings for you Capricorns. If you guys are still dealing with past relationships or people from your past that have given you, uh, you know, reasons to to understand that their nature is not going to change. It's time to close the door on that Capricorn. You're walking towards something that is more long term, something that is more stable. You need to understand that. A lot of when it comes to relationships, a lot of the fundamental of making a strong uh, long term relationship is solely based on how it starts. So keep that in mind, Capricorn. Now, with the four of wands and the full card, there's a new beginning coming towards you when it comes to love and romance. Those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I feel that you may still be dealing with uh, a Libra an air type of energy, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Gemini type of energy. And this is a person from your past that may be reaching out to you or may be wanting to reach out to you for the month of February. And if that is the situation, know and understand that even if you had them in this type of um, almost like um, this idea of who they were, understand that it was exactly that it was an idea you didn't really get to know who they genuinely were so when they come back around and they are trying uh to start something with you be mindful and take the experiences that have already been lived that you have already gone through um and again we go back to that saying of if a person has let you down one or two times don't allow him don't allow them to give you a third <laughs> Uh, a third dissolution or a third uh, pretty much blow. Um, so again, walk towards that, which is something new, which is building you, uh, what is, which is motivating you. Now, the advice card here is the Knight of Swords. Do not hesitate about cutting people off, Capricorn. I think that 
when we go with the full card here and the five of cups, there's a lot of losses that we're going to be experiencing uh, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to partnerships, when it comes to uh, even family, family members, loved ones. And what they're telling you is there's absolutely nothing wrong, if not necessary, to be selfish sometimes and to put yourself and your needs before anyone else. You know why? Because when you do this, people that genuinely care or people that genuinely care or love you will make you a priority the way you make others a priority. And it's necessary for you to do that right now, Capricorn. Now, you're coming up in your own reading here, and this is um, the energy is currently influencing you. So again, Saturn is very prominent for you guys right here. We go back to uh, the January reading that I did for all signs. And again, for Capricorns, being selfish is something that is going to be necessary for this whole year, not just for the beginning of the year, but for the whole year. Uh, taking care of yourself. We cannot take care of ourselves, um, or I should say we cannot take care of others without taking care of ourselves. And this is something that is going to be very necessary, especially when dealing with people from the past. Now, there's a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, a lot of stress. Again, it could be because of a relationship or some type of separation, but know and understand, again, like I said, if you learn to be a little bit more selfish and put yourself first, only then will you be able to give other people the opportunity uh, to really shine, give them the opportunity to really step up and do or be the best version of themselves. And if they choose not to do that, then at least you know, Capricorn, they're not worth it. Now, your final card here is the Wheel of the Year. You have beautiful cards. You are carrying a lot of residue energy. You are carrying a lot of conclusions that usually happen at the end of the year, of last year, I should say, and still experiencing up until February. But the positive thing about this is that you have the Justice card. Wherever area in your life you've been treated unfairly or unjustly, uh, that's quickly going to change and the universe is going to let you know that th they have your back with the full card There's new beginnings coming towards you walking towards stability for some of you guys It could be a long-term committed relationship that's coming towards you for some it can even be with other earth signs um, Now the wheel of the year here signifying striking luck, but it also signifies having all the tools uh, having all the potential in the world to really bring to you that manifest that that loving caring manifestation uh, of desire that you're looking for when it comes to love and romance so do not give up on that capricorn i hope you guys enjoyed like share and comment and we'll see each other soon bye